it was horrible. It, we had to lock him in my mama's room. The whole thing is a spiritual attack. It started a year before everybody else found out. His arms and his legs at night would start burning. And then he would sweat to, to his clothes was just soiled. When he said the word legion, I instantly know what he was talking about. That was many in him. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what to do. So I had to really rely on God and my faith. I probably drove down here probably about maybe 15 or 20 times when they was having a hold of him. He was trying to get out the window and he was trying to go get in the pool and would have drowned himself. I could hear something inside of him roaring and growling from his back. And then somebody said, I know it's when his stomach growling because I had my ear to his back. And more they was praying, I could hear all kinds of noise. So I said, like, God, this is real. And there was a gate, like a cattle gate, you know, about this big round, and it was cast iron. Mm -hmm. And he reached out and grabbed it, and he bent it to make it, he bent it to make it look like a boomerang. Supernatural strength would just take over, and that was, to me, was frightening. It was a sad time. It was a very, very sad time. It was sad for Frederick. It was sad for the entire family. Because every spirit is not of God. First John, the fourth chapter, let us know, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit by the word of God to see whether it be of God or not. Because I battled with this stuff by myself before anybody knew it. And that's another mistake we make. We don't talk. We don't tell people, I'm going through something. I need some help. I feel like he was trying to take me out because of my heart, because of my hatred for him, because of my drive, and because I didn't then and do not mind exposing him for who he is. But I believe that it had to happen to Frederick because Frederick does not mind telling the truth. And he does not mind telling people that hell is real. And I think he had to have a little peek so he could know beyond the shadow of any doubt that it is real. I believe this God just kept us and gave us the strength to keep fighting because there was times, you know, there's no hope, it's, it's gone. But then there was more times to say, keep on doing, keep on moving, keep on moving. And if I was to encourage anyone, just keep your faith in God. If you don't believe in God, start believing in God, because God is real. The devil is real. I tell everybody, it's not God by itself that you're dealing with. You deal every day you're dealing with right and wrong. It's a struggle sometimes. But keep your faith in God. Well, I think it brought us all closer together because we had to fight together and we had to make a change because we wouldn't stop at any cost. You don't have a testimony until you've been tested. We are at uh, the Solar Fellowship Church. It's the church that I'm pastoring now. I've been here now going on three years, and it has certainly been a blessing. Thank you for everything that has taken place in God. We know without a shadow of a doubt, the anointing is gonna touch so many people as a result of what we're doing today. And we pray for them. Any demons that's coming anyway, I come against them in the name of Jesus. I counsel any assignments that Satan may have on anybody's lives right now. And I do it in the name of Jesus and the authority of Jesus, God. I pray for freedom and I'm believing it right now. I'm believing miracles for anybody that watch God. I'm believing breakthroughs for anybody that watch. And God, I just thank you for the victory. I believe today that it is done and it is so. 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the journey. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen.